Hi, welcome back to Brooks's Bass Corner. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Yamaha Nathan East Signature BBNE2 5 string bass. Before I do, if you're enjoying the reviews and videos on the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I release new videos. And please leave a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you have any comments regarding the bass or the review, please leave them below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Enjoy the review. It comes as no surprise that the King of Cool signature bass model is an example of sophistication, both in terms of its looks and its sonic output. Any instrument designed for and with Nathan East is going to be fairly meticulous down to the last detail, and considering he has worked alongside Yamaha for 40 years this year, it's fairly clear that both parties have a clear understanding of Nathan's playing and bass performance requirements. As a bass on its own merits, it's supremely presented, but if black doesn't light your fire, the bass is also available in white and pewter finishes. 
The build quality is stunning, the hardware is very impressive, and you know as soon as you start playing this base that every component has been considered and chosen after other items failed the test. This really is the best of the best. Yamaha should be congratulated on pulling out all of the stops, and although the price tag is significant, you are buying an instrument of the highest quality. Weighing in at 4.2 kilograms, it's no lightweight, but the tone is so good and piano-like in how it comes across that you can accept a little weight when the bass sounds this good. The finishing overall is of the highest order, and the neck and fretwork coax you into having one more go. It may be a five-string bass, but the neck is slinky and sleek, with a rounded profile that fits the player's fretting hand like a glove. The electronics package is everything a working player would look for in a bass, with a wide-ranging EQ system, and the mid-frequency selection offers notable changes that are instantly noticeable, so sculpting your tone precisely is easy and effective. The broad range of tones covers every musical style you might wish to play, which is no surprise when the player it has been designed for has played on well over 2,000 albums, and no matter what you're playing style, this bass will accommodate your requirements with ease. I can't recommend this bass highly enough, and though the significant outlay is substantial, you are buying a bass that sits at the top of Yamaha's product catalogue. It really doesn't get much better than this, and it guarantees playing satisfaction for years to come. If you can track one down to test for yourself, prepare to be very impressed indeed. It's a bass for all seasons, much like its namesake. If it's good enough for Nathan, it's good enough for you. If you've enjoyed this review and other videos on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I release new videos, and please leave a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you have any comments regarding the base or the review, leave them below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Look forward to seeing you here again on Brooks's Base Corner.